Good afternoon, YouTube. Today, I would I thought I would make a quick little video talking about um, the difference between waxing and raising razor razoring the eyebrows. Um, here lately, I would probably say within the past year, which I've only attempted to do three times. Today was actually my third time trying this, but I had. Um, try to do my eyebrows and I'm gonna close my eyes and I can't show you where I messed up at but when I close my eyebrows you'll probably see where I messed up at so I'm gonna bring the camera in and I'm gonna zoom in just so you can take a look and basically I feel like I went I came too far in but I haven't had my eyebrows done professionally in over a year. <clears throat> and where I live at, I'm basically terrified of having them done because the past few years, um, the hair have not grown back the same at all. When I was getting my eyebrows done before I moved, I was getting them done every other month because it literally would take so long for them to grow back. And honestly, when I was getting them done, I basically was just getting them cleaned up, just cleaning up the little, you know, rough edges, um, cleaning up any lines that look like they basically needed to be tamed. So it would give me like a nice, sharp look. So I tried to do that today and what I wound up with was going too deep in the front there. So this really looks like exposed and now it looks a little bit irritated. So basically what I did was I, I used a razor. I went to Walgreens and I got a pack and it comes like three little razors. So I've done it three times. I've been using that to do my eyebrows and I would have to say each time it's really been an epic fail. Now, I rather fell on my eyebrows myself because I know how far not to, you know, I know how not to go too far at that passing point versus when you have in, you know, someone else do a service and you don't know whether if they know you well enough to find out what's too far for the passing point. I know there's people with fatter, fuller faces. We definitely need... Uh, more of a thicker brow than a skinny brow. When my brother did my brows years ago, when I was pregnant. I think I was like six or seven months pregnant. And they were so skinny, it didn't even look like me. I have this one picture. I wish I knew how to insert the clip of how it looked, but it really like changed the whole look of my face. Excuse the glare. I have the window open back there. I think I'm going to get up and I'm going to close it. But, um... As I was saying, they were so skinny that my face, it didn't even look like me at all. So it's important that when you're having your eyebrows done and when you're getting them done, that you understand um, the shapes and everything that you're looking for. So that's number one. But I guess as of right now... The purpose of this video is, you know, I just wanted to show my attempt on the aftermath of me attempting to use a razor to clean them up. The reason why I don't use wax is because when using wax, my skin, it breaks out so bad. I mean, it's bumps like everywhere. It's kind of almost like breaking out in hives. So, um... That's not good because it takes like two, a week for it to really calm down. And then sometimes you can potentially get scars. There's been points where, you know, I've had um, my eyebrows done and the wax was so hot that it wound up... Anytime you have it done, it's already taken off a layer of your skin. But I guess it took a second layer off because it, I was scarred. So I had a lot of bad experiences with actually having them done with the wax. And being as though I'm someone that's allergic to it, I really prefer to use, um, to have a razor being used on my brows. But I would really love to have them professionally done for my birthday. 
I don't I guess I'll probably have to go home home and when I say home home that's my original home before I moved um, I still drive through that area once a week um, because where I work is very close to there so I'm still in that vicinity as far as like getting back and forth to work I still travel up that way but you know, again, with the waxing, it's like a commitment. You know, it was a routine that I was used to doing because I would get my eyebrows done every other month faithfully, you know. But um, before that, I was getting it done a lot, you know, uh, consistent, more consistently because they would grow faster. It's just over the years, my eyebrows, the hairs have stopped growing. They don't come in the way that they used to. So I haven't been happy with them in a very long time. Um, when I put my makeup on and I go out, I actually do conceal them and I don't uh, darken them because they are... They are naturally dark, but I do fill in sparse areas after I produce a line that I would like to see, like the shape that I would like. It's just that when I'm razoring them myself, I can never really achieve that. I don't know. I have a hard time with it. And a lot of it has to do with me being nervous and scared because your yeah, eyebrows is the first thing that people see that gives you your face profile in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions, too. It gives you your feature, you know, your facial feature, your eyebrows is very important. But I just wanted to make a little short video about that. Um, yeah, I wanted to do one on my brows, and I just tried to do that. So sometimes when you off and you really don't have anything to do, you'll start messing with yourself. <laughs> And I basically messed with myself because I needed them done. I actually did my daughter's for her first day back to school yesterday. And she like, oh, can you take a little bit more off there? I'm like, no, honey, leave that alone. You don't want to bother that. You can choose to do that when you're 18, 19, if you want to change the way your face look. I'm not doing it. So I cleaned hers up pretty good, just about as good as I can. You know, it's enough for a 16-year-old girl. It doesn't have to be... Um, you know, so perfect, you know, because again, over a certain amount of years, your brows, eventually they won't come in the same. They will start growing um, slower. So mine, they're de they definitely grow a lot slower than what they used to. So yeah, just wanted to make a little video about that.